Here we are in the subtropical rainforest of Lamington National Park. This area of Queensland, Australia is home to a wide variety of plants and animals. The rainforest may look like a very peaceful environment, but it's actually a place where there's violent uh, struggle for, uh, for existence. And the struggle is mainly for light, because light is such a scarce commodity at the ground level, everyone tries to reach the canopy. The figs, or several species of figs, have found a shortcut. It starts life not at ground level, but high up in um, a fork of an existing tree. And that becomes the host tree for the fig. The figs produce large fruits and are one of the main suppliers of food to birds such as doves and pigeons. The seeds from these fruits will pass through the digestive systems of the birds and will land on the branch of a host tree. That fig seed germinates and grows down to the ground level. Once these roots find ground, the fig then starts to rely on nutrients from the ground. After that first root strikes dirt, it sends down many more of the same roots, which grow thicker and thicker. The cross branches of these roots link up with each other and actually fuse tissues. Once the mass of these roots has enveloped the host tree, the trunk of that host tree can no longer grow and will eventually die. In some mature figs, you will find the center hollow where the host tree has died and the center has decayed away. You can climb many of these trees. Because of their unique biology, strangler figs play an important role in the rainforest ecosystem. Their complex network of interlocking vines and roots provides a number of nooks and crannies for animals to build their homes in. In addition, their surface serves as an important substrate for many mosses and epiphytes, which are plants that grow on the surface of trees. These plants in turn provide shelter for many rainforest animals. I'm standing here amongst these massive roots of these strangler fig, and you can see how the, the network of them uh, coalesces, and also how they form buttresses at the base of the tree. The tangle of roots that forms the, um, the trunk of this um, uh, strangler fig would be of very little commercial value, because it would have crisscross grains and not be very valuable as a building timber or even as a furniture timber. Although the industrialized world places little financial worth on the strangler fig, this unique tree has a special role in Australian Aboriginal society. For example, the Kukuyulumji tribe utilized the strangler fig in a rite of passage ceremony to transform young boys into warriors. Boys aged 12 to 13 years would be placed in the hollow of a strangler fig overnight. If they were able to withstand the wild animals, such as snakes and cassowaries, then the boys had successfully achieved their personal and social transformation. As you can see, the strangler fig is truly a tree of life and death, providing life for some while extinguishing the life of others. That's the story of the, um, of the strangler fig.
Is that you or the tree? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to move up My higher. Eggs are stuck. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? I just don't know what to do from here.